Hello, Maddie from Hello Interloper here. A few days ago, I got 2,700 Rage Medals for free from the Rage of Bahamut team from some kind of lottery-like thing. But, uh, you know, you didn't actually have to enter it because I haven't played for months. I just randomly got an email and then I checked my account and I had some stuff. But uh, I used all of those Rage Medals, and I promised a few days ago that I would actually show you guys all the things I got. So uh, I think this is kind of a little bit eye-opening, because uh, a while ago I made a video called Legend Card Packs Unmasked, and it kind of showed the data and chances of getting you know, a rare, or a high rare, or ultra rare, or whatever. Um, but this actually gives you a good idea of what you are most likely going to get if you spend $27 on this game. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys all the things I got, and uh, then I'll share my opinion on this at the end. But anyway, first this is my dog. You cannot get my dog from Rage of Batman, I'm sorry. Doesn't matter how many Rage Medals you have. But, um, alright. So, this is what I saw when I logged in. I got, hey there, congratulations, you received 2,700 Rage Medals from the Rage of Batman team. So, uh, I was kind of excited, you know, there's a chance to actually get stuff. And I haven't been playing for a while, so quite a few of these cards were new to me. Uh, first I did the first adventure card pack, because there's some kind of weird adventure card pack where you kind of go along a game map, and depending on how much you spend, you're guaranteed certain rewards. So, of course, they have the warning that exclusive cards might not always appear. Well, that's a pretty good warning. So this would include four rare legend cards, five holy powders, and ten bizarre tickets, because... Uh, of course, uh, paying for bizarre tickets is now a thing, which is a little bit disappointing, because uh, that's what people were saying in the beginning once they changed the bizarre. We better not have to pay for bizarre tickets. They throw in bizarre tickets with these deals, but um, honestly, I think it's just to make people pay for tickets. Anyway, so summon, da 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 da, and I got Elder Dragon, which of course is a piece of crap. And I got a new card, as a new that I've never seen before and I've never had on my account, which is a Metal Gargoyle. I got High Tamer, which is another one that I've never had before, but it's yet another rare. I got High Witch, which is pretty much crap. So I was kind of disappointed, but I, you know, I still have 1,700 Rage Medals to go, and of course I'm going to use them. So now I'm guaranteed 6 Rare Legend cards, 8 Holy Powders, and 15 Bizarre Tickets. So I said, okay, why not? Might as well use it. I get a Mithril Golem, which uh, is a high rare and not that great. So that was kind of disappointing. And I got Undine, which is rare, new for me. I got Malai, Malai, whatever. Also rare. Got another High Tamer, which for some reason says new, even though I got one previously. Got Vayu, which isn't that great. I mean, as far as rares go, it's kind of good, but. Still not that great. I got an Ifrit, which, you know, used to be really good and it's kind of outdated now. Or at least a high rare. And then, of course, I got this guaranteed thing of 10 Brilliant Powder. I actually have no idea what Brilliant Powder does, because this was after my quitting time. I got 10 Cure Waters. And I couldn't buy any more of those little adventure card packs. So I decided, okay, well, I can... I have 200 Rage Medals left, and I can't really get anything except for this premium card pack. So I said, why not? I used it, and I got a Malai. So, um... Overall, this is my opinion. I think they were well-intentioned in trying to give people Rage Medals. Honestly, I think Rage of Batman isn't doing very well. I mean, if you look back, it used to be the number one game on iOS and also Google Play. And um, just really is faltering at the moment. On the other hand, uh, you know, just by giving freebies, you know, they're kind of thinking, okay, maybe some people will come back, you know, they'll be excited, get to use their Rage Medals. But uh, for me, at least, this actually convinced me to not come back to Rage of Bahamut. Because, honestly, I was at least hoping... If you're gonna give us Rage Medals, at least can I get something semi-rare, you know? Rares are not rare in this game, at all. So, uh, of course, I was kind of excited, but the things I pulled 
really do not convince me that this game is worth it at all. I mean, if you think about it, 2,700 Rage Medals is about the equivalent of $27. The things I pulled are nowhere near worth $27. I mean, there's a million things I could spend a nice chunk of $27 on that I would much rather have than this, these crappy cards. So, uh, honestly, this just convinced me that it's not worth paying for, and it's kind of not worth playing. The bizarre economy is so bad, you can't sell things for even one holy powder sometimes. High rares are one to two holy powders sometimes. It's just awful. I mean, at least in my opinion. I, I know some people still play it, still enjoy it, but honestly, I can't find myself enjoying a game like this when the economy has crashed and I've played it before these trade limitations. I mean, back when I used to love this game, there was free trade, and I would be sitting on the couch trading all day while I'm watching TV or, you know, in the bathroom, because I'm totally a toilet texter. But, uh, <laughs> you know... Every spare moment I got, I was trading, I was making all this holy powder and having fun with my guild and everything, or order, or whatever it's called. But, really now you have to wait, you can only put a few things up, and I know that Blood Brothers has always had a limit on what you can put in the bazaar, but... Honestly, I don't know. When you have such freedom to trade, and then it's taken away from you, it's just not the same. I mean, Blood Brothers never had an unlimited amount of trading. If I mean, if they did, and then they reduced it, I probably would have stopped playing way earlier than I did. Because uh, I don't really play Blood Brothers very often. I just check out the events. But, um, yeah. Honestly, I can't see myself touching Rage of Bathmoot anymore, so I'm going to say goodbye to it probably forever. Anyway, take care everybody, and hopefully you got something better from your Rage medals.